coming to pick up my pottery. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got my bag of goodies. It's there are things in here. This one's going to be a present for Tommy. So maybe I shouldn't even show that on here because he'll might watch it. But there's lots of fun things in here. All right. And he's just finding one more thing for me inside, hopefully. This is the first time I've ever made my own pottery and glazed it. I'm pretty much just chatting about how I made a bowl for a cat that we don't have yet. That um, we're going to get, absolutely. This glazing is awful. <laughs> I never really liked this plate. It was a tester one I did at the beginning. This one I really like. It's for our toothbrushes. It's got holes in the bottom. This one is fun. This one I'm proud of because I did it on the wheel. This one's lots of fun. Just a vase. And then something to for candles and then an incense thing so I changed my t-shirt because otherwise you'd just see me wearing the same outfit as yesterday um, but I haven't showered or anything I'm just the same person as always yesterday I'm not allowed to uh, although I think I'm gonna try and get Tommy to help me have a bath tonight and I'm gonna lift help have my leg out of the shower, I mean out of the bath so that it doesn't get all wet and stuff because I'm not supposed to for the first four days and it's day two and um, all of this is just a ramble but yeah, cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm making some soup. Today, this morning has been pretty chill. I uh, didn't sleep super well last night. Tommy had to sleep in the next room because my cryo cough is so loud. Um, a uh, lucky thing we have a sofa bed in the living room that's where I'm set up that's where Tommy has been sleeping just last night and probably will continue to sleep because he otherwise he will not sleep um, anyways you saw me pick up my um, pottery yesterday and guess what <laughs> lucky me Tommy's already broken one of the pieces that I made that's so fun um, this one Yay! It was an accident. He's going to glue it back together, but it was like a nice little thing. Uh, tree. It was a nice little tree. I think it goes that here. This one's really cool, but it's really quite short. I should have made it taller. So I'm going to cut the um, stems of these down so that it can fit a bit better in there. It was ready. It just went beep. So hopefully I can eat some of that. I'm super hungry. I'm trying to eat really, really, um, like absolutely no packaged things, no additives, just fresh, healthy food that doesn't come out of the package, basically, is what I'm rambling on about. It's to help with healing. There's another one of the things I made. It's a lemon. You can put in it. I think that's really cute. It's time for a little symptoms chat. Today I have been crocheting. I did start this a little while ago. Um, I was going to turn it into a jumper, but it's way too long and I don't know what to do with it. Maybe it'll just be a scarf. Maybe I'll undo it and start again. I'm not sure. Um, I have this new book that I'm going to read called The Comfort Book. Um, my day has been pretty... Nothing special today. My pain has increased in my knee a bit more because I think that the... Um, I think that the pain blocker is coming out of my leg. Um, but I'll just start with the beginning of the day for those of you who want to know kind of like symptoms and maybe what to expect for their day two. Obviously every single person is different, so you'll probably have a different experience. But my general anaesthetic is still kind of in my body. It's, um, I think it's potentially making my tummy upset because I did have to go to the toilet quite a lot today. Um, and I, also I'm really tired 
so I slept in till about 10 this morning um, and then I needed to have another sleep this afternoon. Um, I managed to eat food twice today so that's good. Yesterday I forgot to eat my lunch so I was really hungry in the evening um, and yeah today I managed to eat twice. Tommy then came home and helped me have a bath. Obviously with my wound my leg out of the bath uh, he helped me wash my hair and so that's why I'm all wet on the head. I was feeling gross because I had a shower just before my surgery but that was on Wednesday and it's Friday today and I yeah, didn't want to sit feeling gross any longer and because I've had an upset tummy I just really wanted to wash myself. Sorry if that's TMI but you win some you lose some. Anyways uh, I was going to do some art today but I actually ended up just being way too tired so I'm going to do some tomorrow when my friends are coming around we're going to have a, an art day which will be fun. Um, and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of this. Um, so yeah, symptoms are just a bit more pain. I can walk on my leg quite easily, um, obviously using crutches. Uh, my pain medication makes me dizzy and drowsy, so that probably has quite a big impact on um, how I'm feeling as well. And apparently it takes quite a while for the pain medication, uh, not the pain medication, sorry, the general anaesthetic to wear out of your body. Um, so I think it's still just kind of falling out of me. Um, but I did have some questions as to how I even got into this situation in the first place. I was, I am a ski instructor. I was doing a training for my level two ski exam, uh, instructor exam. And I was doing one last day of training the day before my exam and it was fresh powder, 20 turns in, uh, I was whooping and hollering, so excited, so happy, and I, yeah, tore my ACL, um, my knee hyperextended, I heard it pop, I felt it pop, um, luckily the, my trainer was with me, um, they were just behind me, and they came and they helped me, they kind of, we were in an area where there was no phone signal, so I wasn't going to be able to get help very soon from the ski patrollers, so um, we decided that uh, he would make a path for me in front and we would traverse very slowly back and forth across the slope and I followed him and I made my way down, I skied on one leg with a t with torn ACL, um, all the way down to um, an area on the mountain where there was a ski patrolling hut and from there they took me down in a toboggan which was really scary actually um, but it was fine obviously the patrollers know what they're doing and yeah went to hospital. My next stage was to get an MRI but uh, obviously within the BC Interior Health, the Canadian system where I could get it for free, it was I would have had to wait for at least um, three months and I had a fully torn ACL and I didn't want to wait for three months so I went privately. Um, luckily I was able to afford that with the help from my parents. Um, it was $600 to get an MRI which actually is not very much considering um, and I got my results back within um, two weeks of having the accident to getting the MRI and then since then I have been pretty active actually throughout my summer I went biking I've been swimming I've been hiking um, and one main thing that I definitely um, attribute to that is that I've been doing prehab as they call it so physio before my surgery I didn't know up until only two weeks before the surgery that I was going to have it um, which is why I kind of had a panic um, my body went into overwhelm um, about that when they told me um, and so which is why I had quite a difficult time within the last two weeks with my mental health in terms of worrying about the, the surgery but everything was okay obviously my surgeon said it all went well I had no other damage inside my knee just a completely torn ACL and um, they took a graft from my hamstring to replace my ACL um, and that's what my new ACL is constructed of so that's cool and in a couple of days I'll be able to take the dressing off so yeah on Sunday I should be able to take the dressing off of my leg and um, no on Sunday I should be able to take the dressing off of my leg and um, go through that process and get rid of uh, I don't they want me to just leave the stitches obviously leave the um, 
I can't remember what you call them, stereo strips, and those just fall off by themselves. Um, but yeah, that will be the next process. And then in two weeks' time, I have to go to Kamloops on the 14th of December, no, sorry, 14th of November, for a checkup with the surgeon, which will be hopefully good. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this longer format. And yeah, here's to a good night for all. I'm just going to leave you with this cute cat uh, who's super cool.